Hi, I'm Lise Colucci, and I'm one of the life coaches over at queenbeing.com, where we help you to discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse and toxic relationships. I want to talk a little today about finding yourself after narcissistic abuse. If that sounds good, hit subscribe, and we'll get started. Before we start, though, if you have any questions related to narcissistic abuse, head over to queenbeing.com. You can also find information over there about coaching if that's needed. Everything's in the description below as well. Remember that we have group coaching available too if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, so do you feel like you're lost after being in a toxic relationship with a narcissist? Toxic relationships are so consuming, your identity and self sense of self may feel lost. It may feel like you no longer have a sense of direction either. This really is a common and normal thing to feel after abuse. So much attention has been focused on and placed on maintaining a relationship with a person that requires all of you and then some. You are likely used to managing things and walking on eggshells and questioning things, so much so that without it, you have no idea how to place your attention on your own life. You may not even know what you want for your life or what you like anymore. I think for right now, just recognize that, that it's normal and let it be okay just for right now. Let's look though at five ways to help you rediscover yourself. Number one, look for freedoms that you already have in your life right now. List them out and journal and embrace the relaxation and joy that it brings when you find the areas in your life that you are now free from after you've escaped or gotten out of a toxic relationship. You can start to see and make space to open up to life, to finding your new purpose and your new joy. Number two, look for your personal needs and where you are feeling depleted and start to fill those needs. Where are you not being there for yourself? Are you struggling to get some exercise? Are you focusing on negativity? Are you not sleeping well at night? Try to find areas in your life that you can add some real serious self-care and start giving yourself what you need. Number three, take a break from the overwhelm. Get some space, whether it be going out into nature or having a small adventure or being creative. Taking space from the overwhelm and thinking about things other than the toxic relationship, abuse, and trauma can help you refocus your life in a positive and more creative way. Number four, try new things and find new passions or interests you are worth investing in. It may not feel like you want to do anything right now, but just try new things and see if anything new does spark your interest. Number five, list the reasons why you feel stuck. Are you consumed with thinking about the narcissist and trying to understand them? Do you feel like you don't matter? Do you feel like you don't know yourself? Is it loneliness? Are you struggling to let go of the old dreams and hopes that you had for your past relationship? This is an area, area that you can really start to think about ways that you are directing your thoughts and have awareness that you are doing this, which sometimes can help you see where you can redirect your thoughts. So it's totally normal to feel lost and without a sense of purpose after a narcissistic relationship. It takes time to heal and rediscover yourself. Keep your focus on what you want for your life and the positive things around you, and it really can help you open up to opportunity in your life. If you need any help, you can find me over at queenbeing.com. Check the description below. If you need anything, I'm here. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.